What's happening everyone? Welcome back to another video. I'm just heading out the door. We're shooting a test shoot today. I'm going to show you guys a little bit of behind the scenes and we'll talk after about the reason for the shoot, the purpose and the thinking and all that jazz. In a little bit of a rush, not running late, but not as early as I wanted to be. So I'm going to get my shoes on, get downstairs and get an Uber to the studio, which isn't too far away. So the studio is in this big old warehouse. There's lots of different units and lots of different photography and recording studios here and some fantastic cock dragon graffiti on the outside as well. This is the entrance here, and we were up on the second floor, so a bit of a mission to get all kit up. And this is our lighting setup. Three lights, two from the top there, going through this scrim to give a beautiful downlight. And we just had a little fill with a big softbox. That's the 13 amp cables. Powered the B10s for this and had to safety chain that 13 amp extension to the scaff pole, but all is well and good. That's us getting look ready for our next look. The great thing about having a stylist on set is that they'll do things like this. When they're not, when they're seeing something that's not right, they'll jump in and correct it because they can see the shots coming in on my laptop because we're tethered to capture one here. So any hairs and stuff that are sticking out, they'll just jump in and correct it. We're on to the last shot here, which is a tight crop beauty shot. You can see Harriet. Her work is done, packing up there. This is the mood board. I always try and put one of these together throughout the day as we go so the crew can see it, so all the team can see it and we've got an idea of where we are on the shoot. And after an awesome four hour shoot, it was time to pack up get my silk put away there and this frame is always a nightmare to put away but I managed to wrestle it pretty successfully this time. Home time it was a nice big banana strawberry protein powder smoothie bowl topped with seeds, nuts and granola. Caught up with Helen and it was time to just tidy up the mood board, get that WhatsApp to everyone just so they've got something to take away from the day. I really love this little sequence of three images here. I'm super pleased with the images we got on the day. Playing around with some movement and flash here, just getting a little bit of a blurry effect. Some of them worked, some of them didn't. And I'm just having a quick look through the final portraits that we got at the end, because I didn't really have a good chance to look through those as it was the last shot we did. So this is Capture One Live. This is a new feature from Capture One. I can set a folder in Capture One and share it online with the crew. And it works absolutely seamlessly. They can comment, star rate their favorite images, color tag their favorite images, and that will all show up when I open Capture One on my laptop. All their comments and ratings will show up in the live session. It's so, so super handy. Okay, what's happening everyone? We're here in a hotel room in London because we are uh, shooting for third space today and tomorrow. I'm doing a behind the scenes video on that. So be sure to subscribe if that's something you'll be interested in. Back to the test shoot. And I'm delighted with how that turned out. So if you're familiar with my work at all, I usually shoot uh, sports and lifestyle. So something a bit more fashion-y in studio is just that sort of little bit outside of what I would normally shoot, I don't think it's unfair to say that. And it's definitely something that I wanna put my stamp on. A lot of people in photography talk about, you know, finding your niche and, and sort of really zeroing in on that. And that is something that I have quite often said, but how I've started thinking of that is, your niche is your visual taste. So we could all take a picture of like this teaspoon and uh, we'd all do it differently because creatively we're all different. We've all experienced the world differently. We all think differently and we all approach everything differently. I feel like that could be a whole video in itself. Alas, you get to kind of where I'm going to with this. I was looking to put my stamp visually on sort of some, something a bit more fashion beauty portraiture. And I think it turned out super strong. I love the lighting in it, that down lighting I've done 
a few times before in the past, but it was a lot more considered this time. Personally, some of my favorite shots are where she's looking over the top, kind of straight into camera. There's another one that I really like where India had her back to the camera and she was just spinning around. This was just an off the cuff moment, but it's those little moments that I kind of set out to capture. And it's a weird one trying to create that because I found that you have to kind of almost be shooting mid conversation, mid suggestion, getting the model to, to move from A to B and it's not the A or the B, it's the little bit in the middle where the magic happens. Let me know what you think in the comments and also let me know what you think about that whole finding your niche and your niche being your visual eye rather than an actual subject or genre. Thanks for watching everyone and I'll see you in the next one. And I think it turned out really gay, <laughs> really gay. <laughs> and I, and I, and,